Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the 3D Cart uh, shopping cart platform. 3D Cart is another hosted application that allows you to run your online store, your e-commerce store uh, from one location. Like the other platforms we looked at, what's great about this is you don't need a lot of technical knowledge to implement it. You don't need to worry about servers or you don't need to worry about SSL certificates or updates. It's all integrated for one low price. Now, like the other platforms, 3D Carp comes in a variety of pricing options. So whether it be less than 100 products or up to 500 products, a thousand products, it all starts out as low as you know $20 a month, 16 if paid annually. You don't get a lot of bandwidth, two gigabytes, uh, but you do get unlimited space to add pictures and other files as well as some credits to Yahoo being in a, uh, Amazon for advertising credits. So what I like about the platform compared to others is it is mobily optimized, meaning it will have a mobile storefront. You do get a Facebook store that you can integrate in. It does have an integrated blog. It also has an integrated affiliate program. So for those of you who don't know it, if you want to uh, allow people to refer customers over to you and then pay them a commission, it's all automatically included in the system. Uh, allows for gift cards and it allows for map pricing. So if you've ever been to a site that says, um, add to cart to show the price. Uh, this is how you stay within manufacturers advertised price guidelines for products that you might sell. And the two features this product has that the other ones don't that I really like about it is our order called multi-warehouse and recurring orders. Multi-warehouse meaning you are able to uh, determine shipping from multiple warehouses. You can do two, three, five uh, and shipping from those particular warehouses as well as recurring orders. So if you're selling vitamins or other consumables, it does have a plug-in, which is a bit pricey, but it does allow you to do recurring orders. Uh, what I don't like about the system compared to some of the others is the coupons are not uh, very sophisticated. Um, adding banners to your home page is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Uh, it is integrated with MailChimp finally because they do have their own integrated email system. I just don't think it's as powerful as it can be and if I remember correctly you actually have to buy credits to send emails out within the email system. I like to put my customers into MailChimp. Some of them are on constant contact already um, and so at least it's with MailChimp but not constant contact. I don't think it's as good looking as some of the other stores are um, but let's take a look at what a storefront might look front. As you can see, this is just a standard uh, test site that I have set up. Um, things tend to be fairly square. Uh, tends to be very, uh, it tends to be centered in the middle here. You can upload anything that you want into here. You can do different categories. I haven't figured out how to do um, subcategories to come out yet. Uh, but what I do like compared to some of the other ones is it does have a decent footer in here so you can add in things such as terms and conditions, privacy, and other things that you don't want into the main page up here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the system. When you log in, you will come to the store manager here. And as you can see, one of the things they're working on right now is Facebook Connect, meaning uh, I don't know if you have to pay for this right now, but you can actually log in with your Facebook account, which is fantastic something that a lot of stores are starting to go towards um, and you'll see that going more and more. What I wanted to show you though which is really really important is within the settings here in these distributors. So if you're running a drop shipping business and uh, you either have multiple companies providing products to you or they're shipping from various East Coast and where, uh, West Coast warehouses. So let's say I'm running a store that has um, two different drop shippers I work with what you can do is you can go ahead and set up these various product, uh, these various distributors in here. And if you go ahead and look in here real quick, I have an East Coast Warehouse in New York uh, as an email and comments. And if this is a drop shipper, what it will do is it can send an automatic order across when you get someone ordering from that. So uh, someone comes in and buys uh, product XYZ, it will automatically send an email off to your drop shipper to tell them to bill you and you can put in your message in here or your comments. 
And so this is probably one of the great things. So if we come back here, again, we can go to West Coast, and you know, we have a, a Portland, Oregon address here. And again, this is from a, a distributor. You can go ahead and set up different manufacturers, but this is great for a dropshipping business. So if we come and add a product in, I'll show you how this works. Right? If it's, you know, test product five, six, seven, um, quick short description, test product for the store. You know, we can choose different manufacturers, which is fine, and you'll need to set those up. Um, but it's coming from a West Coast distributor. And then what will happen is, is based on our shipping algorithm, this will actually determine shipping from this warehouse versus just a standard shipping rate. Cost, retail price, whether it's on sale. So this is where you kind of get into the map pricing. Um, you can look at all, uh, if you just want to do a standard shipping, weight, free shipping or ships by itself. Uh, so this works great. Again, if you are uh, doing drop shipping again, uh, you can check inventory options, descriptions, keywords that you're looking for, various different fields, um, different product features. Images are fairly easy to update. Um, you can add in video if you're doing um, if you're doing YouTube reviews, you can add those in as well. Options. One thing I like about the option set here is that you can do two different things. You can actually set up a product with one particular option or or up here you see use template and you can do an option set which automatically provides these various option sets for you. Right? Roast and grind and then underneath roast and grind, roast has medium or dark, grind has whole bean or medium. Then if you wanted to add in an extra option such as bag type, you know, or let's say bag size, oops, right, you can add that, and then within bag size, you add your options, and you can say one pound, add, and five pound. So in this case here, if you're, let's say, doing a, 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 a coffee drop shipping business, you're working with multiple roasters, maybe one roaster has a typical uh, set, but one allows you to do different bag sizes as well. You can add those in versus uh, big commerce. You have to set up all your options at once, and um, Shopify doesn't allow you to do any options at all. You can do related products, any particular discounts. Um, has advanced functionality as well, so if you want to use different categories um, or redirect to various different things. Different price levels, so um, I'm assuming this is if you want to um, provide bulk or discount pricing, you can do this as well. Um, different plugins for fulfillment, order management, um, email, Social social commerce, so you can do a blog, create your your articles and categories. Whether you want to show a like button from Facebook, right? Um, save those changes. Now you'll have a like button on there. Social bookmarking. So this is just kind of the. Um, you'll now have the social bookmarking on there. So if we come over here, we're coming back to the home page, and you want to see this now. Here's product, here's the share buttons, your like buttons. It's not as powerful as, let's say, Big Commerce that allows you to do like Pinterest and LinkedIn. Um, this this uses it through the Add This toolbar. Um, but as you can see, it's a fairly simple system to use. Um, again, this is works really, really well for um, 
drop shippers and it works really, really well for consumables. Now, if you want to do consumables, meaning every month you're going to send out a new shipment, and the best way to think about that is if you've seen uh, Proactive on TV, right? You sign up and every month they send you a new bottle of Proactive. Uh, if you're doing vitamins, every month you want to send out a new order of multivitamins. Right, you could do that. The plugin's a bit expensive. It's five hundred bucks one time, and then ninety nine dollars a month. So it can really start getting expensive. I'm looking at other carts right now. But if you're really, you know, if you given the sense that you can set it up with affiliate program and really get going, it's something to to really consider here. Um, again, you can see you can do reviews. If this is something you want to go ahead and test out, they do do, I believe, a 15 or 30 day tri free trial. And if so, I would appreciate it if you came over to um, my site and come over to our, you know, our partners and click on the link so people will, uh, the 3D cart will see that I referred you over. I would definitely appreciate it. Anyone have a question on this, whether it might be work well for you or work not, uh, please go ahead and email me. I would love to know. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching today.